good morning everybody today we are going to discuss about dna helicase assay dna helicase assay is an experiment to know which protein has helicase activity there are different proteins which are present in the chromosome like dna b dna a dna g there are a lot of proteins which is present in the dna so in order to find out which protein has helicase activity this experiment will help to find out the helicase activity what is mean by helicase activity helicate helicase activity is mean the meaning that unwinding unwinding of dna so what they did is i will tell you how they did the experiment so what they took is they took a single stranded with single stranded circular m13 phage dna they took this dna and what they did is they took a small another small linear dna piece dna fragment this small linear dna fragment has a complementary strand in the single stranded circular m13 phage dna so they annealed each other annealed annealed together which one small linear dna fragment and single stranded circular m13 phage dna before annealing they labeled this small linear dna fragments with 32p they labeled small linear dna fragment with 32p then they annealed each other after that what they did is they incubated they incubated scientist they incubated these linear small fragment which is annealed to circular m13 phage dna they annealed it together they incubated they incubated it in dna b protein dna protein b protein is which protein is a dna helicase dna b is dna helicase why they want to do it to check whether it has unwinding property or no after incubating okay they took the sample after incubation with the dna helicase they took the D this dna circular m13 phage dna annealed to with small linear fragment and the electrophorest 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 if dna helicase had helicase activity or unwinding activity what you will find you will find separation of annealed fragment with the circular dna small fragment is annealed with the line uh, the big fragment you will see the separation you will feel unwinding okay if the dna helicase has unwinding property if there was no unwinding property you will not see separation between small fragment and 
big fragment that is which is big fragment here circular m13 phage dna you will see you will not see unwinding okay so after electrophoresis they found what they found after electrophoresis they found two fragment one small fragment in the below on the down part with 32 labeled p they found the 32 labeled p and they found a big fragment on the top that was unlabeled unlabeled means which one that one m13 dna 32 p the labeled part it's clear that linear one so you they found the separation between the annealed small linear dna and circular m13 phage dna which means that dna helicase has unwinding property this is called what dna helicase assay they ask you about dna helicase assay what you have to write you have to write this experiment what is the experiment they took circular m13 phage dna they annealed it with small linear dna fragment after that this small before annealing they labeled this small linear fragment with 32p after annealing with 32p labeled circular dna they incubated in the dna b protein that is dna helicase after incubation they electrophoresed the sample they found in the below in the tube they found lower part lower part of the tube they found a 32 labeled small fragment on the top they found a big fragment that is unlabeled that was m13 phage dna which means that there is a sub unwinding of this sample which means that dna helicase has unwinding property that's why we found we got small fragment and big fragment separated now i want to tell you who did this experiment who did this experiment this experiment was conducted by two scientists okay who did this dna helicase assay who did this is done by jonathan jonathan libowitz libowitz and who else roger these two people roger mccain mccain m c m a c k e n roger mccain and jonathan libowitz when they did when they did in 1986 okay thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt any comments please subscribe my channel as well and 